Raise your hand. The microphone to you. Ask questions for Devante. Josh Kendall, first. Devante, is there a common denominator in the road wins that you guys have had? I mean, this is a program that historically hasn't had as much success on the road as you guys have lately. What's the secret, man? Uh, just focusing in, trying to um, not worry about the crowd and do as much as we can to take the crowd out of the game as early as possible and just playing on assignments and not trying to do anything you know, superhuman and just doing what we're supposed to do. Does it begin to, to build on itself the confidence that you get as that formula works? Does it begin to manifest itself? Uh, yeah, you stop thinking about being on the road and you just worry more about, more about playing football. You, know, you don't worry about the atmosphere, the crowd, or anything like that. We just cheer each other on and focus more on football. I think you guys continue to get it done on defense. Um, more and more pride building with the shield. What you've been able to do like um, What we've done different, uh, what we've done lately is study a little bit more, and like you said, that pride and not giving up touchdowns and maybe holding them when we're backed up against, have our backs up against the wall. And that pride and, and doing that is just showing and it's building more and more each week. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Bonte, does it um, make you angry when you see that Arkansas has picked the South Carolina game as their homecoming game? And like I said, when we go on the road, we don't we don't pay attention to you know all the things that they do to hype up the home team or anything like that. We focus more on football, but uh, didn't know that they still us for a homecoming game. Yeah. Um, last season's game against Arkansas was arguably your worst regular season game. Um, Motivation for you guys um, to maybe play a little better, especially defensively this year? Um, yes, sir. We know a lot more at stake this year. Uh, last year, we probably didn't do a good job of focusing that week. Um, probably, took, uh, probably didn't take it. Uh, we were more worried about East, and we didn't worry about all our games. Initially, we focused on all our games. And we hope to uh, get this one and redeem ourselves from the game of the way we played last year. What do you hope to do differently this year? Um, you know, we, we hope to put up more to stand on defense. Uh, you know, last year they, they got a lot of passing passing yards and big big plays that they that they're capable of doing this year too. So we have to buckle down and cut back on those breakaway plays this year. Back through. Following along that same train of thought in terms of what they did to you last year, the passing game, you guys really need to pressure the quarterback even more so maybe bring additional pressure to get to the quarterback than what you guys are normally accustomed to doing? Uh our, our pass rushes this year are a lot better, so uh, we haven't have we haven't had to bring a lot of extra people. You know, we could just get get after it with our front four or our four down linemen that have been doing a good job with Melvin Clowney, Taylor, uh, Trayvon Robinson, all those guys doing a good job rushing the passer, just in our regular defense. Okay. How have you become a better player this year? What's been kind of the difference for you back there? Uh, I think for. Uh, I don't want to speak for all the secondary. We do a lot more studying, whether it's together or individually, and a lot more talking back there, just communicating and letting each other know what's coming or, you know, giving each other heads up on tips that help. You know, maybe DJ will give me a tip that will help me, or I give Marty a tip that will help him. You know, we all helping each other out and communicating a lot better and studying a lot more uh, of our own. What kind of prompt did that change as far as more studying? Um, just being more aware of what's going on, uh, what formations, or you know what's coming, and it, it helps us make plays. Like you've seen DJ make a couple plays that you know he's just all, he's on top of the routes, and you know, those kind of things that we study and look at, and you know we we've been able to come up with some big plays doing that. With the recent offensive changes, no doubt more no Garcia, obviously. Does the defense feel more pressure to make sure that it does its fair share load, and maybe even a little bit more? Because the offensive the points haven't been as prevalent as they were earlier this year. Uh, no pressure. We we want to hold everybody out of the end zone, so there's really no extra pressure, no added anything onto what we do or how we prepare or how we play. Uh, we come out and play, you know, assignment football, and take care of our responsibility and do what we can to keep uh, the points as low as possible. So in case the offense struggles or anything like that, you know we're in a good position and competitive. During as Johnson said several times, you guys have ramped up your practice habits. Do um, you feel that? you guys kind of feed off of that? Uh, it's something that he's been saying to us. Uh, 
you know, as the season goes along, we have to learn how to practice better. And it's something that we've been trying to do this season. Um, taking, taking advantage of every opportunity to get better and get, ahead, uh, get further along and get better prepared for our team. For our is that harder when you're going against your old guys in practice? It is harder, but like I said, our team, our team has matured a lot more over the, over the years and with our players and even the young guys, you know, do a good job of helping us out on the scout team and being competitive and showing us things that, you know, they probably haven't seen uh, out of a player that, that, you know, they probably freelance a little bit more than, than what Arkansas does and in turn that helps us. Devontae, talk about your role switching back to safety and how you think that's really helped impact the defense with your knowledge. And I don't know if you've done a lot of the quarterbacking of, of making calls or if that's DJ's area. Uh, it's, like I said, we've, we've done a whole a lot better job defensively of communicating with everybody, secondary, linebackers, D-line, everybody. And that's just been a big part of our, us getting lined up, communicating, getting the right calls in, and everybody being on the same page. What's the talk like in the locker room right now, knowing these next two weeks, Arkansas and Florida, those two games determine whether or not you guys win the SEC East Division without getting any help from Georgia along the way? Taking one game at a time. Uh, we're focused on Arkansas, and that's about it right now. Uh, Fonte, the uh, uh, offense has put you in a couple of tough situations the last few weeks, but uh, doesn't seem to be any panic defensively, such as, you know, Tennessee got the ball the two. There in the uh, third quarter Saturday, and y'all just uh, you know pretty much just stepped up. Um, something something that we take pride in, not letting anybody cross the end zone. Um, like I said, we, we've been doing a, a better job of studying this year, and we, we've come up with some bigger plays in doing that this year, especially in the, end zone, in the red zone. Anything else about that?